Jim Harbaugh's reported deal penetration station of six years, eleven point five million dollars a year. So, in other words, less than Monty Williams to coach in the uh, same region, but. With the added detail, and it's such a great detail, I have future immunity on all of the NCAA investigations and whatever it is that they might reveal. That is a great detail. He's negotiating that? I don't think, I, I don't think you can if, if, the, if the NFL wants to punish you. I don't think you can contractually... No, no, for Michigan, to stay at Michigan. The yeah, NFL is not going to punish him for anything. No, the NFL, there is. Remember, there's the Jim Trestle, the, the Jim Trestle precedent. With the tattoos? You guys think He that, got suspended when he went to the Colts. You guys think that Jim Harbaugh is going to suffer some sort of NFL penalty? You guys foresee that coming before the invest? He's going he's gonna to have a job before all of those investigations have been finalized. Yeah, I think the, the it's been reported by uh, – reporters with some weight behind them that uh, the NFL does, does kind of want to protect its its minor league and doesn't want people just breaking the rules over there with impunity that they do want them to serve time and they they did Jim Trestle was a national championship winner not unlike um, even though that one was a bullshit ch uh, championship, not unlike Jim Harbaugh. No, there was a report, Mike is right, that came out like in the heat of all the Connor Stallion stuff. But it seems like since then, the NFL maybe doesn't care as much, just like I think the college football reporters have kind of backed off the story and aren't really sure what's going to happen next. But it, it doesn't seem like he actually would get suspended in the NFL, even though that re that weird report did come out a couple months ago. I assumed when these details came out, because the interview process right now is uh, Harbaugh is going to be up for the same sort of openings that Belichick's up for. So how do you create leverage? You create leverage by making it seem like you have a sweetheart deal to go back to Michigan. As soon as I saw these numbers leaked and I saw the details of, oh, wait, Michigan is trying to stay in the game with something that is a competitive professional contract and also the added detail of the offer offers immunity for all future penalties unseen. And I don't know if Michigan has actually agreed to that or if it's just that Harbaugh has requested that because, of course, he would request that because he's going to try and use what would be the most leverage a Michigan coach has ever had because the stains don't harm him any when it comes to he's already won the championship and he could dictate his own terms because Michigan doesn't want him to leave. So the immunity would be... Uh, from financial penalty because they, they can't provide immunity if the NCAA decides. No, it's fi him. it's that they can't fire him for whatever's revealed right. in any of the investigations. What there are multiple investigations, and no matter what they reveal, he is asking basically for a pardon on all things, no matter what's revealed. Right. So, how much leverage does he have? Does he have like how much time is on his contract? Because I would call bluff here if I'm Michigan. Uh, Jim Harbaugh has been tr actively trying to get back to the NFL for three years now. And the NFL has collectively decided, without the, the glory of a, cha of a championship behind him, no thanks. So call his bluff. Why, why would you cave for that? I, know I would give it to him. He just won you a national championship. I How guess, I guess that's your argument. You one, like, give it to him. Who cares? If Rutgers doesn't miss a field goal, he's fired. He couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we were that close not long ago. There's also all the cheating stuff that could potentially impact his ability yeah. to coach. Not, not that the NCAA is like a credible organization here. I don't think they are. But I see Michigan wanting to like look out for themselves as well in case something happens and then they're screwed for a season because they've had scholarships taken away or a suspension or something like that. Side note, Connor Stallions is on Cameo. Really? How much? Did you see he, uh, he posted an IG story of a Michigan championship hat while driving around the horseshoe in Columbus? I mean, the, the, the lack of shame... First off, is he like college football's George Santos? It is. It, it is exactly like that because Michigan has developed this whole like uh, victim complex, and while also being shameless about what happened, they're having it both ways, which you rarely ever see outside of politics. Stallions was being bought drinks the night that they I saw a video of just people sending drinks over wherever it is that he was watching the games uh, or the game of the champion. Yeah, I saw that he was at the semifinal. Like there were there were photographs of him at the Rose. Bowl. What was his crime? Being too much of a Michigan man? No, selling bad vacuums. <laughs> that I forgot about that.
It'd be w- funny if that's how this all comes down, right? Is that like the government gets involved and it's like, buddy, you were selling used vacuums. You can't do that. If you're cheating, that's fine, but you can't sell a like new vacuum and have it be clearly used. Exactly. Get all the fur mm-hmm. out of the filter. I really hope that we don't forget about that central Michigan aspect of this. I, I hope we don't move on from that and that we actually, with this platform, hold people accountable. I need to know what happened with the central Michigan disguise. Was it indeed him? Who credentialed him? Who was he working for? Was this a Michigan uh, mission or a Central Michigan mission? Can you guys think of a couple of siblings outside of the Williams sisters who would feel the level of satisfaction and fulfillment that the Harbaugh's would feel last week when Jim Harbaugh can say, I'm the last one who beat Saban, and he left the sport. And John Harbaugh can have one of the best teams in football as Belichick is run out of his city, and his job is perfectly safe. The idea that the two brothers there get to conquer football that way on the professional level and on the collegiate level, while we're sitting here talking about whether Jim Harbaugh can ask after an undefeated season with maximum leverage, more leverage than a Michigan coach has ever had, and he can, with a straight face, say, if you want to keep me and if I have to settle for merely returning to Michigan, the way that I will do it is if you give me immunity from my multiple investigations and anything they reveal. Like, the idea that the Harbaugh's can sit at a – at a table and be like, who won more? And the argument is, well, the argument ends on, well, I beat you in the Super Bowl by, you know, by a couple of plays, I beat you in a Super Bowl. That they live in that space of having conquered that sport on every level uh, when they used to be kids who ran out of the car with Jack Harbaugh yelling at them to seize the day. Uh, must be wildly fulfilling uh, to know that uh, that both of you are kings of that size. Jer Bear brings up a good point, which is the Kardashians. I had Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh. I was thinking of the Kelseys, but I had the Achos, the Diesels. <laughs>